Hi, it's Chester at Blue Pecan Computer Training and in this video we're going to look at working with times. Is a time before another time, after another time, or is a time within a range of times? So these are the arrival times for Bob and we need to find out whether these arrival times are on time or whether they're late. And first of all we're going to do this with an if statement. Before we start though, just be mindful of the way and which times need to be entered into Excel. Hours, colon, minutes, and then if you like, colon, seconds. So let's start our if. So we're gonna say in our logical test, is this time before our on time time, which is nine o'clock in the morning. So to say before, we'd say less than. But also if they arrive at nine o'clock, they're still on time. So we'll say less than or equal to, and then we refer to our on time time, nine o'clock. Now I do need to fix that reference and I'm gonna do that with the F4 key on my keyboard. That puts the dollars in the cell reference. The reason I'm doing that is because I need to copy the formula down and each logical test needs to refer to this on time time, comma. Now the value of true will be on time and I could type that in, in quotation marks because it's a text value, but I'm not gonna do that because I've already got on time in this cell here, which I'm gonna to refer to and I need to fix that. So the value of false would be late. So that's that value there. Again, I could have typed late in, but I'm gonna to refer to the value in the cell. I'm gonna fix that reference, close the bracket, press enter and then I double click to fill down. You can see that it gives me the correct arrival status. Now I'm gonna complicate things a little bit in column D here. What we want to return is three possible arrival statuses, on time, acceptably late or late. And we can do this with an if. And this will actually be a nested if because an if on its own can only return one of two values. But if you put an if within an if, you can return one of three values. Now what I'm gonna do is the first logical test I'm gonna express is, is the entry time after the acceptably late time threshold, which I'm gonna fix. Now, if that is true, then they are late. Then in the value of false statement, for this if, I'm gonna put another if, and I'm gonna ask whether the time is after nine o'clock. And if that is true, it's acceptably late, which I need to fix, comma. And if neither of those tests are met, then they are on time. And I need to fix that reference as well. And then I need to close two brackets one for the nested if and one for the original if. Now what this in effect does is create ranges for me. So anything that is after 9.10 is late. And then anything that is between 9.01 and 9.10 is acceptably late. And then anything on or before nine o'clock is on time. And the order in which you do the test is important. If you're using the greater than comparison operator, you need to start with the highest value. So the highest value that I'm comparing our entry time against is this acceptably late time. If I was using the less than comparison operator, then I'd have to start with the lowest value or the on time time. So if I press enter, I copy this down, you'll see that you either get on time, acceptably late or late. Now in more recent versions of Excel, you can use the ifs function in place of a nested if. And this basically allows you to specify multiple tests and they are performed in the order that you list them from left to right. So the first logical test would be, is the entry time after the acceptably late time, and if true, they're late. Notice I'm fixing all these references again. Then logical test two would be, is the entry time after the on time time, which I need to fix. If that's true, 
they were acceptably late. And then what you can do with ifs is say, if none of these tests have been met, then return another value, which is going to be on time in our scenario. Now, the way you do that in the last test argument that you're going to use is you put in true and the value if true for that test is the value you want to return if none of the other tests are met. So in our scenario, that's on time. And then I close the bracket. Now in the same way that the nested if created ranges of times for us, ifs also does that. If I press enter, copy this down, you can see it gives me the same results. So the ranges work like this. Anything after 9.10 is late but anything between 9.01 and 9.10 is acceptably late, and then before or equal to 9 o'clock is on time. Now we can also do this using a VLOOKUP. This is probably slightly easier actually, but the way you lay out your data and your time thresholds is a little bit different. You'll notice that I've had to put the times in the first column of the table that I'm going to refer to. And I've actually put in my first time as midnight. So this creates the ranges. Anything between midnight, I mean, no one's going to arrive at midnight, but anyone who arrives from midnight through to nine o'clock is on time. Now I put nine o'clock on one second because of the way these ranges work with VLOOKUP. It's basically anything from this time to one less than this time. So I've put that one second in to allow for that. So this would literally be from midnight till nine o'clock you're on time and then acceptably late would be from one second after midnight through to 9.10 and then anything after 9.10 is late. Now you'll see that this formula is a little bit simpler. What I do is I look up this entry time comma in this table array which I need to fix. So for VLOOKUP to work the value that you're cross-referencing, which is the time, needs to be in the leftmost column. Comma, col index number is two. So which column within my table array do I want to return values from? That's column two. And then the last argument, you're actually going to use approximate match. Approximate match does this thing where it looks up a value within a range of values. This only works, by the way, if these values are in ascending order, if you're using VLOOKUP. If they're not in ascending order, the calculation will fail. So true is what I want to put there. Close the bracket, press enter. You can see it returns on time. Little tip for you though, VLOOKUP actually performs this type of lookup by default. So if you don't use that last argument, so I get rid of true and that comma, I still perform the calculation. See, I get the same answers. Now, if you have Excel 365, you've also got XLOOKUP. Same idea as VLOOKUP, slightly different. So I'd look up my entry time, comma. My lookup array would be the time thresholds that I've specified here. And my return array would be the arrival statuses that I've specified in column J, comma. If not found, I'm not interested in. So I just put another comma in. And then in this list I need to choose exact match or next smaller item which gives me a minus one. Why is it next smaller item? Well for example if someone arrives at 8.30 I need to go to the next smaller item which would be this time which would give me on time. If someone arrives at 9.03 I need to go to the next smaller item which is one minute past nine which gives me acceptably late. I'll close the bracket there, copy that down, I get the same answers. Now the advantage of using XLOOKUP is that you don't have to have the columns in a particular order, nor do you need to have these values in ascending order. They could be in descending order and the formula would still work. If I just show you that, I'll just a small list, you can see that XLOOKUP copes with that fine, but your VLOOKUP uh, doesn't cope with that at all. Okay, let's look at a, another example. What we've got here is 10K run times for Bob, Bill, Ben, Barbara, Betty, Belinda and Boris. And I need to give them a gold, silver or bronze medal. So you can see they get gold if their time is 50 minutes or under. 
silver if it's one hour and under, but over an hour you get a bronze. So let's start with VLOOKUP on this one. So I'd look up this time in this table array. Remember with VLOOKUP, the value that you're cross-referencing needs to be in the first column. I'm going to fix that. Col index number is two because I'm returning values from the second column, the medal column. And then I can just close the bracket. Copy this down. You can see I get the correct medal. X lookup, we could also do it with X lookup. So I'm looking up this value. My lookup array is these target times, which I need to fix. My return array are these medals, which I need to fix. If not found, I'm not interested in. Match mode is exact match or next smaller item. Copy that down. Nested if. We could do it with that as well. So if this time is greater than or equal to the target for bronze, which I need to fix, then I get a bronze medal. Comma if, if this time is greater than or equal to the target for silver, then I get a silver. Otherwise, I get a gold. And I need to fix both of those references. Close the bracket twice. Copy it down. So I can also do this with ifs. I might just widen this column a little bit. And zoom out. Equals ifs. Logical test one. Is the time greater than or equal to the bronze target if true i get a bronze logical test two is the time greater than or equal to the silver target if true i get silver and then if neither of those tests are met i get a gold if i copy this down you see I get the same result. So multiple ways of doing this. Let's look at one more option. So here I want to basically say whether the time is morning, afternoon, evening or night. And for this I'm going to use X lookup exclusively. So I'm going to look up this value in this lookup array. And my return array is here. If not found, I'm going to leave for the meantime. And match mode is going to be exact match or next smaller item. Now I'm going to copy this down. And you'll notice I get some NAs. Now the NAs are where we've got a time before the four o'clock time. Now the way I've done this is I've said morning starts at four o'clock. It goes on to 11.59 and 59 seconds. And then afternoon starts at midday and night because of the way times works will be 2200 hours through to 1159 and 59 seconds. So it means that we have a gap between midnight and one minute before four o'clock in the morning where we haven't accounted for anything. Now there's lots of ways you could do this. You could put in another line here for night, starting at midnight. I'm just gonna drag this out because what I want to do is replace this NA error using the if not found argument. Now at the moment, the if not found argument doesn't have anything in it. But if I refer to this cell night, press enter, then you can see that it now considers 0112 in the morning as a night time of day. And if I copy this down, that gets rid of all my NA errors. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's been useful. If it has, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.